Hi, my name is David Hackney. I'm an animal specialist here at Three Lakes Nature Center. Today we're going to be talking about eastern box turtles. Eastern box turtles are the most seen and recognized reptile in Virginia. They are found throughout the eastern part of the United States. Eastern box turtles get their name because of the unique hens plastron, large hens plastron, and the high dome carapace. What this allows the turtle to do is it will pull its arms, legs, and head inside of its tail and completely close up into a protective box, hence why they get their name box turtle. Box turtles are reptiles, but instead of shedding skin like snakes, they shed what's called scoots. The scoots cover the top of the shell and they will shed these off. So box turtles can pull their arms and legs and head completely inside their, their shells. They cannot leave their shells. They, their backbone is actually an extension of the skeletal system and the shell. So it's actually fused into the shell itself, its backbone. So they cannot leave their shells at all. One of the unique things about scoots are they're made out of keratin, just like your fingernails. But they also have rings on them. And those rings can approximate the age of the turtle if you count them just like you do on trees. Some unique facts about box turtles are if you ever see one turn on its back and it's panicking, the reason is its lungs are, are located toward the top part of its body. So when it's upside down, the rest of the weight of the organs are pressing on it, making it hard for it to breathe. So it becomes panicky. It also exposes its underside to predators. Um, if a box turtle stays on its back too long, it could possibly suffocate. Some uh, interesting facts about box turtles are they're also omnivores. That means they eat plant mantle, uh, material and uh, meats. They will eat a variety of types of berries, um, crayfish, tadpoles, grasses. They will even eat carrion, which are dead things. And they can even eat toxic mushrooms that we could not eat. Box turtles, uh, when they find their home habitat or range, um, they will stay within a few square acres their entire life. And living up to 100 years, it's why habitat destruction really affects the population of box turtles. Um, also, road crossings uh, dramatically affect the population of box turtles. If you ever see a box turtle trying to cross a road, don't try to just turn it around to go the opposite direction because living to 100 years old, that road may not have been there and that turtle's going somewhere on purpose. So if you can safely do so, take it to the opposite side of the road. If not, it will just turn around and go to the other side anyway. Box turtles don't start reproducing until they're almost 30 years old. Um, when they do lay their first nest, they will dig down lay their eggs which are not like chicken eggs are pliable um, like leathery they will lay them and then cover them up and they will leave the um, hatchlings have a egg tooth on the end of their beak that they use to cut through the shell when they emerge the hatchlings are about the size of a quarter and completely self-sufficient they do not need any parental care at all um, box turtles hibernate during the winter time they will dig down and spend three to five months during the coldest parts of the winter. Box turtles obviously do not have external ears. Uh, their ears are internal. That means they do not hear quite like us. They hear vibrations at very low frequencies and are mostly there just to have a balance. Another unique aspect of box turtles are, if you see the eyes on this box turtle, you see if they're red. Often you can tell a boy from a girl because a box turtle's eyes will be red. Our males will be red and the females will be a golden brown color. Some of the predators that come after box turtles are large birds of prey, foxes, coyotes, skunks, raccoons, animals like that. Box turtles prefer um, wooded forest and brushy grasslands near a water source of some kind, like a small stream or a marshy bog. Uh, box turtles don't make good pets. One of the reasons are, and we get calls here at this all the time at the Nature Center, if you have an animal that can live up to 100 years, I get calls all the time from somebody whose kids have left home or in college and 
now still have a turtle that they don't want anymore and are trying to find a home for it.